Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, five simple pranks that you can do using Command Ball. So this first one involves slowly teleporting people in a certain direction, as can be done with this command right here, which I'll put in the description. So then if we turn it on, then everyone will slowly be teleported in whatever direction you choose, and that can be quite annoying. If you want to make it a bit more subtle, you could add an extra zero, and that would make it be really slow, although it does seem to interfere with walking a little bit. And if you want to make it really obvious and real fast, you can just do this, and then have people just be constantly going off in this direction. The second method is, I think, even more obvious, and is run by this command, and when activated, you'll just summon like a massive amount of pigs wherever the person is so it'll like it completely like fill up whatever buildings they are and it will be constantly pushing them around and it's it's really obnoxious and if you leave it on too long it's kind of laggy so i'd want to be careful with this but uh, see, I, see, see now i can't even turn off the i can't even find the lever anymore yeah you yeah you you, you want to be careful with this one. this one's really obnoxious okay yeah yeah that took a while yeah Make sure to have an easy way to turn it off, so that way you don't, like, find yourself getting stuck with, like, infinite pigs and you can't turn it off. So, yeah, always make sure to, you have a way of turning this one off. Now, this third one doesn't necessarily involve command blocks, it can just be run as a command. It just gives at everyone the nausea effect, and this is a very annoying effect <laughs> that is one of the few effects that actually... Uh, applies its effect to the user as well as the as well as the player because it's very yeah because it's very actually kind of nauseating to, to to play with this effect it's just so weird and annoying and like you can't get anything done or hardly even look at your screen so yeah this one doesn't really involve command blocks but it's 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 definitely very annoying this next one requires a bit more um preparation but i think it's definitely worth it and uh, if we go into this house nothing seems too odd until we open it up and then we realize we're like way up high so this one you essentially have to um you have to clone the house uh, i'll put the how i'll put the command for cloning it but you'll have to like in the description but you'll have to sort of customize it yourself like slash clone that side's coordinates, then you go over here, um, use tab to autocomplete the next coordinates, and for this one, I had to reduce this quite a bit, because of a bunch of gravel, and I didn't want it to fall, you probably wouldn't have to reduce it that far, just reduce it one, that way it catches the floor, and then we can just do here, 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 and then just set that to 200, boom, and then now we have this other one over here, that's duplicated, and then now we can head up here and grab the coordinates for this area by hitting slash set block. Then we have the coordinates. Actually, we want the one right behind it. We want the door coordinates. So set block, set block, grab the coordinates, change it to a teleport command at P. Increase the middle one by one, that way you'll be above the block instead of inside it. Then you can go back around, then go over to the original house, um, dig down below here, put a command block there, and then paste in the command that you just got for the teleport, uh, and then hide it again, and then now... And then now... We can just go inside, and now we're in the other one. Actually, no, we're not. Well, regardless of which one it sent me to, all you have to do is just put in those coordinates, and then it should, as soon as someone walks into their house, teleport them to the copy of the house way up high, and then then they'll be really confused when they try to when they try to leave the house. Now, this last one is sort of an extension of the previous one, and if we go in here, see it's pretty normal, but then if we go through here, we just come back out through here. So this one is, instead of teleporting them to like a duplicate of the house, you just like 
rewire certain doors in the house to other doors that are like on the other side of the house and obviously this is pretty small you probably want to do it at a larger distance I just didn't want to build a big house but yeah if we go through here then we come in the front door and you could like um, do the same thing by like grabbing coordinates and putting it in here and you probably will need to adjust rotation a little bit because obviously if I were to be in the same rotation I would be this way so I had to adjust rotation so you may or may not need to do that but, but yeah you just like rewire certain doors to other doors in the house if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and if you want to see more then subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you next time bye